Wait, what's this information? <laughs> Wait, sorry, what? What? You guys can't see this. Let me change the scene. Yeah, you guys see it, right? You see this X clam? What is this X clam here next to D takes E6? Okay, let's play C4. You can see C6, very classic setup. We'll play Bishop G2. I'll castle next move. Will there be another Magnus Tour this year? There will be a Magnus Tour, but again, chess.com announced a rapid chess championship um, yesterday. So that will be my primary focus for this season. It will not be um, the Magnus Carlsen Tour. I might play an event here or there, but I definitely will not be playing the Fool Tour. Let's go B4. Maybe Queen E2, maybe Rook D1. <clears throat> so, yeah. No, I'm pretty happy. I, I much prefer what chess.com is putting together. Okay, so it goes knight b6. So I don't know if a5 is actually his idea or not. It's kind of this kind of a weird position. I have knight h4 maybe. A very weird position. Um, I'm just gonna go queen e2 and trust that b5 is okay. I don't actually know if it's okay, but it seems reasonable. Will chess comp tournament also have so many top players? Um, well, I mean, if, if the press release is to be believed, um, it sounds like they have Maxime. Fabiano, Wesley, myself, uh, potentially Levon as well. And that's not to say that players won't play in the play in the other tour, but it seems pretty unlikely that players are going to play the Fool Tour. So it's most likely uh, the Chess.com event will have more uh, more more players. Anish also, yeah, Anish as well, yeah. Okay, actually, why did I do this? Is just stupid of me. I'm gonna have to do something very sketchy here. This is probably not gonna work out. I'm gonna basically chuck the whole queen side here. I'm gonna chuck the whole queen side and go for broke on the king side, basically. This is very sketchy. Not good. I play this very poorly. Will Magnus play or not? I don't know. I have no idea about Magnus, whether he, what I mean, it's it's his site, so you know, he he owns owns shares the company, so you'd assume that uh he kind of has to play, I guess you could say. I don't know if that's the right way of putting it, but you would assume so um but again i really have, I, I have no idea i'm gonna go h3 I, I need to just move quickly here i'm gonna go king g2 next move guard everything he's trying to do something here let's go here 91 i mean this is really quite gross funny thing is i'm not actually in a lot of trouble yet though maybe if i can just maybe get my piece a little bit more coordinated I may be okay here. Okay, I wait, I can't do that. Let's go here. Trying to hold all the glue. I think I'm holding the glue. Just there. I can go here because I have rook b3. Very tough position to play. Okay, I guess I go back. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the draw here because I'm actually in really bad shape in this game. K4, yeah. So he actually doesn't take the draw, which I think is kind of smart. I can play knight c3 maybe. If he takes, I have knight d5, I believe. Okay, I'll go here. I think I'm holding, but barely. Barely holding on here. I mean, if I get e4 next, maybe it's actually starting to get a little bit sharp. Maybe it's getting a little bit sharper than my opponent would like. Goes rook e8. I mean, he's begging me to go e4 here, kind of. And I want to do it, but I don't actually know if it works. But if I don't play e4 here, what am I really playing for? I guess is the other question. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. I want to go d5, but I just realized he has knight e5, which is a problem, too. I guess I should just yeah that's a bad move that's actually a horrible move but he does not play the right move knight f6 knight d5 and I just actually resign I think if I take of course I shouldn't have done this e either why did I do this I just blundered but I have knight e4 or something maybe yeah I, I just threw this so hard Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. That was just a very poor game. 
Very, very poor game. Three set. Unfortunately, these games are plus three, minus minus thirteen. Like I can't, I can't get. I no, no one has a high enough rating, so I'm just playing blitz because I want to play blitz. I'm not really playing for the rating at the moment, which kind of sucks, but it's life. What to do? Okay, so let's take, let's take, let's go here. Actually, I should have just probably played e6 first. Maybe at e6 there. He didn't take advantage. Why do I care about online rating, lifetime habit? Yep. I mean, it's it's not even really about that so much. It's just that when you when you play when you play play blitz like there has to be some motivation or something more than just like playing playing chess i'm gonna go f6 probably wrong but i'm gonna do it take with the bishop maybe knight f5 it's so hard to get 33 well the problem with getting 33 is that i need to play someone where it's like plus four plus five and i need to run it up so it's just a, it's just a tough situation but i i, I do like playing blitz Adopting everyone isn't motivation. I can't adopt. I mean, this, this Shugarov's like a very strong player, you guys. Like, he's a 2650 player, and you're saying, oh, maybe I can adopt him. Like, I mean, come on. Seriously. I mean, I'm not adopting 2650 players. I think with the knight or the queen or the rook. Hmm. I think with the queen, it feels wrong somewhat, but... I don't know. Go say four. Okay, now I now I should play knight of five so that I can at least take. But of course this is wrong too. I guess a guard. I have rook d seven to hold. Not very enthused by this position. I do have f four. Wait, I do have f four here. Wait, f four. Still is rook d1, but queen a5. I mean, I should be better here. Not much better, but I should be better. Adoption means beating someone 10 0. That's what it means. I'm still a little bit better, but it's going to be very hard to play because I have a bad pawn on beef. Bad pawn on f4 that's blockaded. Pawn was back a little bit. It would be easier to play this. I still have d4, d3. Maybe I can try to claim an advantage. Queen a2 is a good move. Like a very good move. Okay, I guess I go here on queen a6. I don't even think I'm better here. But I am up a lot of time on the clock. It's 91. That's just kind of a strange one. I guess I'll just go here. Let's go F3. Tough position to play. Plays Knight F4. Now I can take the pawn on G2. I can also go D4 here. My instinct says I should take. If he takes with the rook, I can always scoot the king out of the way. He takes with that rook. So rook d7 is not a threat. So wait, so if I go bishop g5, what is... Wait. If I play here, rook d7, queen a2, rook d8, I win. If I go here, it takes, he loses. If I go here, rook b7, I just take... I think... Bishop g5, 96... No, I think this just loses. Unless I'm missing something obvious. This should just be winning, though, because rook g5 loses the queen. He can't ever move the knights, and he loses the rook. So, I mean, I think this is just GG's. Should be GG's. Hey, that DJ Figs for the 12 months. Thanks so much, DJ Figs. Okay, resigns. That's good. That's good. Keep going. Oh, let's play c4. Let's, let's, let's play something a little bit simpler. Actually, I don't know why I did bishop f4. I meant to go g5. e4 equals d4. Was that a brilliant move? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why I played this. This is ridiculous. We'll play h3, g4 here. I'll play this like a Magnus would play. I think Magnus has played something pretty similar to this in the past.
Doing something unusual here. I have queen d2. I mean, this feels very bad. You can't ever go g6. Go here, cut off the knight jump. And I can also go knight g3. Like knight e4, I just take and go knight g3. This should be very bad for black, objectively. Can I play the sodium attack in honor of any? What is the sodium attack again? I forget. I won tic tac toe. Of course, you guys. Of course. Okay, so I'm, I'm much better here, but I have to prove it. I don't really like rookie one. Okay, but that's a mistake. Now I get rookie five, and he can't ever trade. Again, he's got this very poor bishop. These pawns sort of kill the bishop here. It's just stuck. It's got no diagonals here. Knight a3, h4, h5. Wait, what? No, I I, I know what sodium. Uh, of course, I know. I know what na is. I know na is sodium. Uh, sodium. But what's I I missed the point. I also think I can go f4, g5 at some point as well. This feels very bad. Plays h5. Interesting move. Um, don't think it's a good move. So I can just go f3. And now he's not creating a weakness here. I also cut the square for the knight to jump. So g5 just traps the knight next move. I guess he goes h4, but it still looks so bad. It looks really, really bad for black. Takes. I guess I take with the H pawn because now the pawn still covers the square. No knight jump. Oh, he has an idea with knight d7. Go here. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually sack maybe. Yeah, let's just sack. If he takes, I'm going to undouble the pawns. If he goes f6, I think I go rookie six. This looks still looks really dangerous for black. King f8. I don't know what king... Oh, his idea is to go f6, I guess, here. Still feels like this should not be really very good for black. Um, wait. I'm going to go here. Go here. Still not really that worried. Actually, the bishop doesn't belong in h3, though. Just need to move. I'm, I'm thinking too long here. Should I put the bishop on d3? This is where it belongs. I take. Okay, now I have multiple captures. The question is, do I capture with the bishop or, or the knight? My instinct says this must be right. So I have queen h2 and I hit the pawn. Of queen d6, I have knight f5. I don't know, somehow. Oh, he's got king e7. Oh, I should have gone knight f5 first. Very stupid of me. Go here. Still think I'm going to win, but very poor. Guess I can knight g7. Knight g Wait, knight g7, knight d3, queen f5. King b8 takes queen g3. I, mean, I think this is winning. Go for it. Hopefully this is winning, because I have queen f5 check. D3, F1, all squares are covered. Should be winning. But check, I hit the king. The safe free move. Okay, now I just take a knight of six, game over. See a pin Louis for the get to sub. Thank you so much to Pin Louis. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, let's keep going with G6. Actually, let's play a Dutch. Let's see what he does. Will he play D5? Will he play E4? Plays D5. Okay, let's go E5. He'll take. I'll take, of course. So for every loss, you need four wins. Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's a very unpleasant situation. It's difficult. Very, very difficult. Wait, what's this information? <laughs> Wait, sorry, what? What? You guys can't see this. Let me change the scene. I'm going to change the scene. Just give me one second. Um, 
Yeah, you guys see it, right? You see this X clam? What is this X clam here next to D takes E6? Yeah, what is this X clam nonsense? Sorry. I just had to point that out. Um, go here. It's an I. No, I get that it's an I for info, but it's like, excuse me, what? Now I place this, which actually feels slightly wrong. Wait a second. I think this is wrong because I have knight C. Oh, or did I just blunder? Just blundered, probably. Oh no, I can take C4 and hit the queen, so this is okay. I have knight C5 here and knight D5. Wait. I think this is correct. No, maybe I should I should have just taken right away. Uh, oh well. The show goes on. Hmm. Do something weird. I'm gonna play knight before here. I'm gonna play a five, consolidate the knights here. Probably goes rook d1, I go queen e7 is my guess. Very strange position. Okay, or this, I go queen e7. Now I'm guarding the knight, but there's also a knight c2 threat. I can also just play like rook e8. I feel like my opponent's kind of misplaying this just a little bit. Let's rook fc1. I guess I just go here, why not? Feels somewhat scary for white. Now I feel like I should have something here, but I don't actually see it right off. I don't want to trade the bishops. I don't really want to play b6, but I think b6 is pretty stable because I can take and then I can create threats against the queen. Knight d4 is a logical move. Kind of expected it, but I... go here. Can always take on d4 and play knight b3 or something very sharp position thank you to paul wearing i don't really want to take with a knight here but i might have to <clears throat> i take with a pawn it's also not bad Ooh, a lot of options a lot of i guess i'll take with the knight i don't know if it's right if he takes i just take e2 figure it's better not to create a isolated pawn here in the center of the board if i can help it New doc education. Thank you to Paul Waring again. Thank you so much for 15 and 6 months respectively. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so he does take. So I take. Of course he takes. I take. He goes knight c3. I do have knight e4 maybe. Very hard to win this position. I'm going to play rook c8. Go here. Hit the knight. I think I just blundered again. Yeah, I just blundered. Now I'm, now I'm going to have to go for something wild to try and win this game. Definitely not right, but I'm going to try it. Take and take, I guess. F2 is weak. Let's go here. I have knight h3 maybe. I've got a 4 Go here. <clears throat> Here, attack the knight. I should win this. He's got no time. As long as I don't hang my rook somehow, I'm gonna win this game. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna win this game. Much better. I think that I am good as I am for the tier one. What's something that you think I could be Magnuson? I don't know, you guys. That's a kind of a pointless question. Play this one. 
guess I'll, I'll play Bishop E3 here. It's pretty standard stuff. I won a game in the Fide Grand Prix 2019 in Espana in this opening with Bishop E2, C4, Knight, C3. I can also play C3 as well, but I'm going to play the Maroxy bind with C4, Knight, C3 here. Knight C3 is also just playable. In fact, I think Knight C3 is a much better move objectively. But oh well. Let's go here and Knight C3 and play the game. Do I think I can beat Max Deutsch? No, Max Deutsch is a very strong chess player. Um, I mean, what can you say? The guy's amazing. Let's go here. I'm going to play Rook D1. <clears throat> Rook D1. Maybe Knight E1 and F4 as well. Now, it gives me the square... Do I play Rook D1 or Knight D5 first is the question. Um, I think I, I don't want him to get the Rook to D8. That's just my instinct. Hmm. Play H3. I think this is right. I'm going to play Rook D1 and Knight, Knight E1. Probably gonna trade, but I don't know. Let's go here. I can take with the pawn. I still prevent knight d4 here. Tricky position. Quite tricky. Backward knight moves are pretty tough to find. Yeah, they're not they're not easy to find, definitely. Plays a6. That's an interesting move. I think I'm just going to take space on the queen side. I mean, I don't really understand what it does. Okay, I'm going to consolidate with a3. a4, a5 was also possible. I, I don't know which one was right, though. Very tricky position for both sides to play. Okay, so he finally does go f5. I wasn't sure if he was going to do that or not. I guess I play here, try to force bishops off the board. Very human, very logical. Goes e4, I drop back, and then he loses this, this bastion square for the knight. So he doesn't really want to push the pawn, but he also doesn't really want to trade. So he's kind of stuck here a little bit. Because if he goes back, I definitely trade. Plays knight f4. Okay, now that's an interesting move. I can obviously trade. Ah, it's got knight d4. Oh, wait, no, I, um, I can take and go queen b3. Never mind. It's still good. Still very good. Actually, it's not, as I just realized. And play queen c4, queen a2. Very sharp. Huh. Don't really want to trade. <laughs> Don't want to trade the rooks. Or trade the knights, I should say. Yeah, I butchered this quite poorly. G3. F3, queen, D2. Nah. Oh, man, this is tough. I'm going to go for this. I don't know if it works. Okay, now I go queen, E4. I mean, he has d5, but I just take. Rook g3, and then I go like king h1. I mean, this is very, very sharp. Very unsure about this whole thing. Yeah, he has d5. No, I can take the pawn. Oh, wait, no. If I take his knight c2, and I just... Oh, wait, no. That's actually just... Oh, wait. No, I'm blind. I actually have to go queen g4. I thought I could take, but I just hang at knight. That would have been really, really bad. Bad way to lose. Why do I not play with increment? Uh, primarily because it's because blitz and you kind of want to chill a little bit you don't want it to become too serious wait is this actually a problem i thought i was still okay here take i go here i think he missed queen h3 he only saw queen g4 rook g5 and then he's winning he missed queen h3 here still very sharp position but if knights ever come off now he just he threw away an h pawn that he didn't need to throw away now, the question is, do I go to G2 or not? My instinct says I do. Yeah, that's just my... Oh, wait, now I have... Rook... Oh, wait, Rook D5, Queen D5. Wait, I know that I'm better here. I just have to prove it. That's all I have to do. So let's go... I know I'm better. I just have to prove it. 
go here, I guess. Here. I've got to just move. Oh, I just hung my queen. I just missed. I just hung my queen. That was ridiculous. I, again, I just panicked. I was completely winning that, and I just panicked. Okay, last game. Um, I mean, that was just bad. That was just bad. Really bad. Go here and here. Last game. Terrible. Yeah, too too much too much gambiting. I agree. It plays castles. Wait, this is um. It's actually a known known line. I think. I had e five e five ninety four. This is this is kind of known. I just have to remember how you're supposed to play this. I'm gonna go knight b four here. I think the idea is bishop e six. You also have f four or something. I don't remember how exactly this line goes. Timer isn't running. Yeah, that's because there is no timer on this. Now, I think on this line, there's some trick with F4. I just have to remember, is it, is it F4 here or not? There's some trick with F4. Some trick with F4. I just don't remember which position it's in exactly. I feel like it's F4 here for some reason. But I can't remember right off. I'm going to play it, though. I think it's... I'm, I'm just going to trust my instinct. I could be completely insane. I think this is right, but I'm not sure. can't believe that I did that last game. It was so completely winning. I believe it's... Bishop A2 or Knight A2. I think it's Knight A2. And you just take... H5, and I think it's just G5. Or is it Queen D5? Wait. Or is it Queen E8? Wait a second. Actually, I think it's Queen E8 because you have Queen D6 or something. Knight e2, logical move. I can always go g5 if I want. I can actually go knight c4 here. Feels wrong again by him. But I, I'm too slow yet again. Let's just go knight c4. And g5 maybe. And queen b5 is strong. So I go here, of course. Idea is bishop b3 and just checkmate in one. Just want to go here and mate him in one move. Is the right move. Go here. That's why I was quiet for so. Wait, D5. Wait, that's not the move I expected. Wait a second. Completely not the move I expected. Shoot. <clears throat> I guess let's go here. You just caught me totally by sir. Oh, knight A5 was the move right here. That was the move. Not rook D8. It's really, really sharp. Good news is he's got no time. It's just like the last game. Very messy, except I have 40 seconds more. So he probably can't work through the complications. I have knight b3 here. I'm going to take. This might be the wrong move. But I, I don't want to give him opportunities here. Knight b3, I can even just go here maybe. He's got no time, so I should win this.
He resigns. We get the dub. Good win. Two more to go. I definitely don't want to stop out at 4 2. Let's go here. Clan Knight C3. No nonsense. Thank you to Shep, Shep for the tier one thing. So Shep, I don't know what was going on in that game. It's very, very weird. It's just developed normally. Maybe Knight B3 is a move. I don't know if Knight B3 is good or not. Probably I should just play solid Rook A D1 and just standard F4, maybe Knight C6. Session count is nice. Oh, the su session subs count is zero. Oh, sorry. I have, I have zero subs, right? Life is tough. Life is tough. Zero subs. I could have taken with the queen action. I'm kind of wondering why I didn't do that. Been more than one. Okay, let's just go here. I'm going to go play this very slow. Okay, I don't like B A6. So that creates a weak pawn. It permanently is glued. Yeah. So what happens when you, that's what happens when you get stuck in uh when you when you get stuck in prison. Thank you a little back to the tier when you lose all your subs. It goes bishop g5. It's kind of an interesting move. I don't actually like bishop g5 honestly. I feel like he has two big weaknesses. Not that it not that it's the end of the world or anything, but it feels kind of questionable somehow to me. We'll play rook d1. I don't really like this position for black. It feels very questionable at best. I can even maybe line up a legendary triple stack. Like, I can go rook d1 and queen d2. Okay, I expected that. I'm just going to go here, target the pawn. Actually, I just line up the legendary triple. If I line up the legendary triple, he's just down a pawn. The legendary triple is just winning a pawn. Very good. The Burger King triple stacker. <laughs> good one. Very, very good position. Definitely cannot complain here. Pretty happy with the position. I have to get number one back in what? Bullet? I mean, but bullet, I mean, I have bullets a whole different story altogether. I don't really intend to play bullet, as I said. Okay, so he gives up the pawn. Now, I do have F4, but again, a pawn is a pawn, as they say in the old old Russian, Russian school of chess, so... I guess I just go here. I don't even know if this is the best way to play it, but it just I'm just up a pawn. Pawn is pawn. Okay, G5, I, that, that makes some sense. I think I'm just going to drop back. Keep this very, very slow and simple here. Obviously, trade. Go like here, hit the pawn. Go here, stop any cheese with knight G4. Okay, I can obviously go F3. I think I can also play knight E2. Maybe queen C3 ideas. Maybe I should play B3. Yeah, I kind of just blundered again a little bit. Well, I do have this in queen C7. Or queen B6, I should say. Like takes takes knight f3 takes takes knight g3 stops the mate on h1. Thank you to Aber Aber of Amenko for the tier one. Thank you so much. If he takes with the bishop, I go f3 and he loses material. So if he takes queen b6 should just be good for me, but we'll see. So he goes back. So he admits his mistake. Okay. So the question is now, how do I keep improving? F4 is obviously a reasonable move here. Queen d4 is pretty reasonable too, actually, just to trade the queens. Now, I mean, the three versus two should be okay. It does play a5, so I'll go f3. I'm just actually, I should be a little bit careful how I play this. I'm gonna bring the bishop in. Go c3, consolidate, guard the knight. I can move the bishop to b5 at some point. Just there. It's just g3. Why not? I mean, I guess he has h5. Yeah. Doesn't take advantage of it. Go here. Okay, now he does play h5, but it's, I think, a little bit too late. So I can go here. Now I can take and go king f3. And I win the pawn, and with it, I should just win the game. I have knight e2. I just have to be a little bit careful. I think knight c2 and b4 is the correct order. So he's still finding some good moves, but it doesn't matter because he's actually just losing. Because now I take g3 or I have knight f5. This is all just winning. Take no knight e2, I guard. Okay, we got the win. Let's go again. 
I think it was Jeff Barazzoni for the prime. Um, play the Dutch again. I liked my Dutch game. I thought I got a good position. Okay, he's going to do this. Okay. Oh, he's got H5. Shoot, I played the wrong. Ay, ay, ay. Can I actually take maybe? Maybe I'll get miniature, but let's see it. Let's, let's see the miniature here. Because I, I actually am not sure. Play E6. E6. That block, of course. Of course, I go queen e8 here to trade the queens. I can play c6, king c7 at some point. Not clear cut. This queen h2, interesting choice. Now, I can actually try to fianchito the bishop. I can also go like h5, bishop h2. So many options. So, so many options here. It's kind of hard to actually figure out what's right. My king's not good. So my king is not good. I mean, I think I should just develop my knight. Probably, I should actually just go like. I think I should go here and rook d8, maybe. I mean, d5 I just take. So I go here, d5 I just take. Yeah, I'm just gonna develop. I'm gonna manually cast my king out of the center of the board here. It may or may not work, but the queen h3. I, I saw that as a move, but. Am I really so scared of it as a question? I can also play knight e7, but the knight g5 doesn't look great. Knight e7, d5, knight g6. Knight g5 is not good, so I don't want to go knight e7. Oh, let's just get the king out of dodge. I'm going to play d5, I'm going to go knight e7. Still does not feel very good. Takes, I go here. Knight g5, I just go over. Queen here, I just go over. It takes with a pawn. That's an interesting choice. I don't think that's actually the right move, objectively. Because now I can actually finish my development, maybe. I go bishop g7. Bishop... Do I play h? So many options. I'm going to go h6. I don't know if this is right. I just want to finish my development with bishop g7. I didn't do it right away because I thought bishop b5, queen g6, knight g5 was kind of scary. I just kind of want to stop any tricks like knight g5. It was e4. Okay, so he has knight d5, which makes a lot of sense here. That's actually why probably I should have gone bishop g7 immediately. Okay, let's go here. I think I can take and go here, though. I think he missed this double attack. Yeah, he missed a double attack. And it's not like this is winning or anything, but his king is now going to come under a lot of fire here. It's it's like the mini sun ray. And he also has no bishop g5, very importantly, because I put the pawn here to stop it. He goes queen h4, I go knight g6. He goes queen g4, I go rook g8, and then I hit him with the fossil. Should be good for me, but it's very going to be very tricky. Thank you, Simple Door, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Maybe good's too strong of a war, but I should not lose if I play this correctly. It might only be a draw, but so be it. My prediction for Tata Steel, I really don't know what to make of it. The arrows make so much sense. Yes, they do. Let's see what he does. 50 seconds and counting. Okay, he finds the best move, I think. Oh, he goes bishop d4 now. That's I did not think that was the best move because I thought I could win a pawn here. I take and I take. I mean, maybe I'm going to lose somehow, but I don't see it. I have king b8, I have queen g... Queen h4, queen g5. Check king here. Knight b5, I still have a check always. I don't see it. He goes bishop b5, logical move. I assume I should somehow get my queen out of the way. The question is how. King b7 maybe is okay. Rook g8, then knight... Uh, still queen g hmm. Okay, this is tough. I should be better here, but I have to prove it, which is not going to be easy. So I'm going to go here. Bishop b7 is king b8, of course. Queen f3, I go d5, obviously. I could have gone king b8 first, I suppose. I think I go b7. I think queen f7 and takes is a very serious threat. Okay, now, okay, now I'm just better if I play this correctly. Go here. So 
So what? No, 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 I crashed through. Now I just lose this. I also have Night G6, which just ends the game, too. I mean, that's just GG. There we go. Better. Let's go here. That was a good that was a good game. Pretty happy with that one. Let's go back, play night c3. Happy with the way I played that game. Maybe I mean the, the results kind of irrelevant. The way I played that after I got the bad position, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so he plays a6. I guess we'll go a4. I don't even know if it's necessary, but makes sense, I guess. Okay, I guess he wants 95 or something. Okay, whatever, so what? And okay, now he does play d6 here, so I can obviously trade. Trading a5 is kind of interesting. I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's good. So here, c5, I have knight a4, knight b6. It plays e5, which actually, I don't know. Somehow to me, e5 feels like a mistake, positional mistake. But maybe, I mean, there's a good chance I don't know anything about this position. So let's go here. I mean, he'll probably play bishop e6, I guess. Very unclear. Have I watched Don't Look Up? Um, what is Don't Look Up? I actually have no idea what that is. GG's, you're better than me at chess. Okay, that's not really saying very much. Um, go here. At four, I just take the juicer. I can also just take the bishop here. Chess is just a game. Chess is just a game, you guys. Like, big deal. Just a game. Chess is a game. Game is supposed to be fun. I'm not bragging, no. I mean, it's just a game. Who cares? Um, actually, if anything, I'm self-roasting myself by saying that. Uh, let's just take. Yeah, if anything, I'm actually self self-roasting myself. <laughs> just a game. Who cares? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Don't look up is terrible. I don't know what don't look up is. Now I'm up a pawn. I mean, I, I get his idea. He's trying to he's trying to attack here. He's got a big center, which I have to be careful about. But I am also just like two moves away from winning the game. Okay, e4. I I don't think is a good move. Yeah, he's, he's getting, um, okay, I guess he has bishop d6. To be fair, he has some ideas. But again, I don't really buy this. I don't buy it. I'm not buying what he's selling here. I think this pawn is too fast. He is a big black center. Um, that's, yes, okay, thank you. Knight h4, I just go back. Okay. Oh, he does have bishop d6. I forgot about that. But wait, I have knight d5? Yes, I think this is still good. So I can take and take. Yes, it's still good. I take with check and I hit the king and be blocks. I take anyway. And everything's guarded. Yeah, I'd say it's all guard. Yeah, it's all good. Saturday, 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 Saturday. He takes, I go here. He takes, I take. We love when the finger goes in the air. Yes. It goes queen e5. I mean, I saw this as a move, but I mean, I assume I have something here. Like, I mean, bishop d4 looks good. Okay, wait a second. Okay, there's there's got to be something that's really good here for me. I don't I don't want to panic and throw this game away. Knight f4 looks pretty solid. Knight f4. Knight h4, I guess, this idea. Again, I'm just not buying what he's selling here somehow. Again, I'm thinking too long for some unknown reason. I guess just be smart and go bishop d4. Oh, wait, no, then he has a... Oh, wait, wait. There are tricks here, wait. Okay, whatever. Just trust my instinct. Might be a mistake, though. No, it's not a mistake. It's just really good because I have a check. I have a check and a pawn, which is very important in this end game. I think too long, then faster. I decided in my career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He might resign if he doesn't. If he doesn't spot knight h4. 
plays rook d8, which is not the right move. First of all, I can check. And I should check. So now the pawn runs. And I take with check. And now I go just go queen f2. Now he's actually getting mated on the h file. Yeah. There we go. Another one in the another one in the books. He goes g5. That doesn't really stop anything. I just take. Yeah, it's just game over. Go again. What about rook g8? That doesn't do anything. Oh, let's play g6. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the to the Dutch. Three does here. Okay, plays g3. We'll go back in the same line. Let's go c6. Probably e5 next move. Favorite movie genre? Um, I don't have a favorite genre really. I mean, I, I haven't watched many movies lately either. Okay, I'm gonna play Queen A5 and E5. This is actually not the best line. Do I still get jet lag from traveling or have you gotten immune from that? You never get immune, and the fact that I didn't travel for the last two years, um, no, I, I'm I'm definitely still jet lagged a little bit. I guess he can oh uh, I should wait no I think Queen d2 was supposed to be the correct move not Bishop b2 can I speak Deutsch 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 um yeah this is actually it looks really good for me but this isn't wonderful I, I can still play e3 maybe I believe rookie eight is still correct I haven't looked at these lines in a long time either I definitely want to bring the Knight into the game somehow I also had Knight g4 there which could have been kind of interesting can I actually go a6 here? I think a6 is kind of interesting. So I can go c5. If he plays c5 himself, I just take. Plays e3, okay. But the problem with e3 is that now my knight jumps too. Both knights start jumping. Actually, no, just my knight jumps because I, I have the bastion. But I played gambits on my main account. Okay, but now knight f4, I have g5. And this is actually really ugly for white. And I guess he has knight a4 or something. But I mean, this just doesn't look right. And go c5, knight d3 looks correct. I'm going to trust my instinct that knight d3 is the correct move. I'm going to go c5 and I'm going to play like knight d5, I guess. Uh, he plays knight b... Actually, knight b2 is a good move. I missed that. That's a very good move. I have to go back to e5. And now I don't really have everything that I wanted. Knight b2 was a quality move for my opponent. High quality move. Sorry, actually, you guys, I have a question. Sorry, because now my phone started beeping. Can someone tell me how you turn off this um, stupid Google voice thing that just keeps activating randomly? It happened to me in Poland, and now it's happening on my phone here. Can someone tell me how to how to turn it off? It's a stupid question, I know, but are there any, um, uh, any, any people in here? No? Yeah, it's Android. Yeah, it's just, it's like randomly, it just started, it's happening in Poland during, during the stream, and now it's happening again. Put the phone in the trash bin, go to settings and turn it off. Okay, settings and turn it off. Oh, it's not my move. Settings. Okay. What's it under? What's it under? Connections or something? Or what's, whatever. It's, I, I got to focus on chess. One second. Okay, I can play Chief. No, let's go here first. Uh, Google Assistant. Um, uh, whatever, I'll worry about it later. Now it's not the time. Uh, let's see, I can also just take the Rook here and take this. I take Rook D4, G5, Knight. I think I just take probably. Just take, hit the Knight. Go to Google Apps and find a profile. Okay. Um, isn't this a blunder? I have G5. It's good. G4. I mean, this is just going downhill in a hurry. Let's take the pawn. Imagine not having a phone. Yeah, that's also true. Okay, I guess I just go. I mean, H5 is kind of nasty. I'm just going to go H5, H4, and just. This pony is just dead on G3. It's just a dead pony. Go to Apple and buy an iPhone. Yeah, he just resigns. A2. Very, very good score.